Hi, my name's Claire Varley and welcome to another edition of the Essendon District Football League Season Preview. We're counting down to the 2015 season thanks to the Pasco Vale Hotel. 12 Railway Parade, Pasco Vale. Today we're in Essendon Ford Division 1 and looking at Taylor's Lakes. The departure of 2010 Premiership coach Steve Burns has not signalled the end of an era, with almost all of the veterans Lions players signing on for another year. Will this be good enough to make the top four? Let's ask Teo Pelizzeri and Adam Saracoglu. So this is one of the more interesting teams uh, for totally different reasons to some of the others. Often it's the teams with players coming and going, huge clearances, big recruits that uh, get our attention. This time it's because of a change of coach. Steve Burns gone after leaving a great legacy to Taylor's Lakes. Sam Tankard comes in as the new boss and the senior players have all rallied around him committing for another season including the four-time Hutchison medalist Mark D'Souza and the club best and fairest Matt Morelli. Jackson Wright's back there at full back. They've got a pretty handy forward line led by Longo. So uh, what do you reckon, Adam? Can Taylor's Lakes make it back into the top four this year? It just feels as though with Craigie Byrne and Hillside adding some players that they might be a bit of a middle marker rather than uh, a pace setter this season. Yeah, look, um, they've been up for such a long time, Taylor's Lakes, and now they're without uh, Steve Burns, of course. And I'm not, sure, I'm not so sure about Taylor's Lakes this year, Taylor. I don't know if guaranteed uh, finals is going to be an option for them. They've got a few clubs coming after them, that's for sure. And... Uh, Look, we'll see. We'll see. I'm just going to hold steady on Taylor's Lakes for now, and uh, I think that might be mid mid range for now. And uh, hopefully, if uh, their veterans can come up for one more year and uh, you know do what they've done for so long now, then they can certainly push for finals. But again, uh, that premiership window is uh, closing closing fast for Taylor's Lakes. One. Chris Tripodi is the the main recruit from Sunshine as centre half forward. Also, a couple of under 18s they've brought in to watch. But really, it's promotion from within. It worked quite well for a number of players uh, at Taylor's Lakes last year. They had a number of kids that ended up playing the full season because they could handle uh, Division One senior football. And again, I think they might hand the club over to the youth this year. They've got good strength in depth with the reserves, but as we know, it's a, a pretty significant drop off. And you can't um, you can't avoid, say they get injury trouble. Maybe players retire mid season. They could fall into that relegation uh, situation. But I think they've got far too much talent with the squad as it's named right now. And really, I can see them somewhere between 5th and 7th this season. Yeah, I can't see them falling all the way down into the relegation battle. But, uh, you know, they're, just, they're too good, Taylor's like. So they've, they've been up for so long. So my range for them would be sort of 4th, maybe down to 6th, I reckon, for Taylor's Lakes. So they'll hold steady and uh, maybe push for finals. But it's going to be difficult to keep up the consistency they've had for so long, especially with so many other clubs improving in Essendon for Division 1. That's it for this edition of the Essendon District Football League 2015 season preview. Keep watching the EDFL YouTube channel for more videos and we'll see you back here at the Pasco Vale Hotel soon. Sun, I'm sharp, my shape is changing.